We heal as a team. We're gonna crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shish kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back, way back, into the light, into the light, into the light. We can climb out of hell, out of hell, out of hell, one inch at a time. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from. I mean, that's that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's as game in inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning. It's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now, I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now, I think you're going to see a guy you're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it you're gonna do the same for him that's the team gentlemen and either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals individual, 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 individual. ideas are bulletproof Welcome to the show, guys. It's Friday, July 15th, 2011. This is Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm your host, Popeye, from federaljack.com. Today, I have a special treat for you guys. I'm going to be giving you a hour-long special on nothing else but the Bohemian Grove. Yes, the Elite's Playground in Northern California in the Redwood Forests where they run around in the woods for two weeks and they worship stone owls and they get serviced by male porn stars. They do mock human sacrifices. Some people have even said they do real human sacrifices in those woods. Who knows? I'm going to play you a clip from the cremation of care ceremony itself. It's like about a minute and a half long clip. It's the very end piece of it. And I'm also going to call CNN live on air, their, their, call, their tip line, and I'm going to try to report the fact that there's the world's elite meeting in the Redwood Forest, and they worship a large stone owl named Molech uh, that is a Babylonian deity that people used to worship and sacrifice children to, amongst others. So we have a, uh, a very packed planned show for you today. First, I'd like to give you a little information about Bohemian Grove, if you guys aren't aware of it. A lot of people are uh, that uh, know about the New World Order and stuff, but some people, I'm sure listening, don't know what the Bohemian Grove is and don't know why I would be so fired up about it. So let me explain to you a little bit. Uh, Since 1873, the, the elites of the world have met in the ancient redwood forests in uh Northern California, right uh, north of San Francisco there. And you've had people like Ronald Reagan and Nixon and Eisenhower before they were ever presidents. They went there and then they became presidents. Uh, you have, you know, 
Clinton, you have George Bush Sr., you have George Bush Jr., you know, W. The world's elite go there. The uh, the atom bomb was developed. The you know uh, Oppenheimer was there. He admitted that they had talked about it. I forget the name of the ver- the the very little cabin that it was in, but that the Bushes have their own little cabin. It's it's really creepy. Uh, if you're listening and and you're part of the chat room, I put a link to Alex Jones's movie. Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. He touches a lot on the stuff that goes on there. You see some secret footage because uh, he had smuggled the pocket cam in there. And uh, that's actually where I was able to get the audio from. And, uh, you know, I'll be able to play you guys some of this sick, twisted stuff. In fact, here, let me... This, this is the cremation of care. This is like the last minute and 36 seconds of the cremation of care ceremony. That's Molek. clap like a bunch of morons yay we just watched the ancient ceremony yay we just watched a mock human sacrifice yay idiots i mean talk about sheep they even have their own brain dead brainwashed morons in their own little cult and if you got to see the the video of the ceremony it's they're out in the middle of the redwood forest there's this 45 foot tall stone owl which it, it wasn't always an owl. Interesting, if you go back and look at older pictures, uh, it used to be a, a, an evil-looking Buddha. It was really creepy. But um, I've seen pictures of inside of it, and it's, it's hollowed out you know, in the basement. And, of course, I'm sure they have a better recording system and audio system now. But they had uh, – it was reel-to-reel inside – and you know there was they had the, the the it hooked up they had all the audio lines and everything they had a mixer board and everything in the basement you know inside the 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 bottom of this thing and that's where they would run this reel to reel recording of Walter Cronkite speaking as Molech the voice of the owl and it's just this whole long ceremony and they they burn an uh, a, an effigy of a human being. You know, uh, and they play during the the burning of it. They play the the mock, um, the scream of uh, a uh, uh, someone who's dying, like their death, their death throes, their, their screams of death and pain and torture. And uh, you know, who knows if it's real? It sounds real. I mean, I don't know if you could get somebody to act out that kind of audio, but it's creepy. You got to watch the whole video. Even if you don't like Alex Jones, you have to watch the video and at least respect the fact that he was able to catch this creepy stuff on camera. And you've got male porn stars that come out and they say what goes on there. And they've said afterwards, you know, that they, you know, they serve as guys like Henry Kissinger. Jones has talked about, uh, you can find it, I'm sure, on his channel somewhere. He's talked about the fact, in fact, he did a video today where he was discussing Bohemian Grove from his cell phone. And um, he even mentioned that when he was in there, he had seen uh, – they, they had posters of Henry Kissinger uh, bearing his rear end. I think he was dressed up like a woman. I mean that doesn't surprise me. This is the kind of stuff that goes on in there. 
And I'm not, I'm not making fun of homosexuals or anything like that. That's I'm not gay bashing. I don't want to hear any of that crap. I'm just saying that this is the kind of stuff that the world elite, these people that tell you how to live your life, this is the kind of depravity that they're up to. And in the same token, you know, <laughs> they're out in the woods getting BJs from male porn stars and worshiping a stone owl, and burning mock effigies of you know humans. Doing mock human sacrifice. We'll be right back. We're going to break. Stay tuned. You did that day. Kill your own citizens to advance your ways. All my world patriots stand up and say 9 11 was an inside job. They lie, they scam, they cheat, and steal. They plot, they fun, they act, it's real. They watch, they hunt, they punish, and kill.